Kaspersky Security for Virtualization offers agentless anti-malware security for environments including data centers, virtualized servers and desktops running on VMware's platform. Powered by Kaspersky Labs award-winning engine to detect new and polymorphic threats. Integrates with VMware vShield Endpoint Security to provide seamless real-time and on-demand protection. One true single pane console, unified management to all virtual, physical and mobile endpoints across the widest variety of platforms. Centralised scanning ensures that guest VMs are immediately protected with the latest signature database regardless of whether the VM was previously offline. There's no duplication of scan and update tasks and as such helps to reduce AV storms and optimise input-output operations. Let's have a closer look at Kaspersky Security for Virtualization and the VMware environment. Here we can see the back-end infrastructure with vCenter and vShield Manager running on the ESXi server. Also the KSV appliance is listed. One KSV machine is needed per ESXi host. We'll be discussing provisioning shortly. Note the resource usage of the machine. This can be scaled very easily as you would with any other VM. KSV can add only a 2% increase on normal CP operations and it's recommended to set KSV with around 20 meg of RAM per VM that you're looking to protect. KSV integrates with vShield Endpoint from VMware. This is a necessity in order for KSV to protect the environment. In here we can see the status from the VMware elements. KSV is classed as an SVM and provides the real-time and on-access file system protection as mentioned previously. We can see a couple of virtual machines currently running and currently being protected. You'll note the thin agent enabled status. This is not a Kaspersky agent, but actually an installation of VMware VM tools. A driver included in VM tools offloads anti malware requests to KSV. Using vShield along with VM tools is not only the most efficient way, but the most compatible way of protecting the environment. The Kaspersky Security Center provides an all-in-one console to manage KSV alongside physical agent-based protection for mobiles through to desktops and server operating systems. Here we're focusing on KSV's installation. A simple wizard is used to collect VMware credentials for the vCenter server, ESXi and vShield manager. During this process you'll point to the OVA file for KSV and be prompted to set up its credentials. The wizard handles everything else. KSV protection commences once the license key and recent updates are pushed out. Scanning is also configured centrally. This task can scan all VMs on the hypervisor in a load balanced manner, or certain VMs can be chosen to be scanned. As with real time protection, the depth of scanning and exclusions can be set. With the real-time protection configured in a policy, we can set up the similar exclusions and threat detection activity, but also be granular about this, and so apply different protection profiles to different resource groups of machines. As we can see here. This allows KSV to be controlled in a central manner via security center but gives KSV its instructions to granularly protect machines at the hypervisor level. Security Center has always offered excellent clear reporting for all endpoint protection and this is no different for KSV. Notifications can be configured in order to relay emails upon threat detection for instance. or clear comprehensive reporting is available giving a wealth of information about the protection status. These reports can be saved or automatically sent on a scheduled basis. KSV for VMware provides agentless anti-malware security to help reduce the risk of AV and IO storms to help ease resource management issues, to provide instant protection, all powered by the Kaspersky Lab award winning engine 
to help provide seamless protection for VMware environments through one true single pane console. Thanks very much for watching this short demonstration. 